I put one. Um, the Nano has to be a first generation with the silver background, and it'll be either be black or white, and it'll be a two gig or four gig or one gig or whatever. And it's not the new video Nano, which is the um, 3G. Don't even ask. I won't even respond. So here you can see the background is just the standard background that the firmware comes with. But I'll show you how to create um, a custom background for that. So just let me restore to the regular iPod firmware. Okay, now I'm back to the uh, regular firmware. Um, so you, as you can see, there's no background. So I'm going to show you right now how to get it to uh, get your own custom background. So first of all, you're going to download this file um, from Omega Upload. And it's going to be called 1G, 1G Background Hack. And you're just going to right click and click Extract here. That's going to extract the firmware. And you're going to see this uh, file exactly the same, except it's not a, a zip file. So you can go ahead and close out of that now. And then what you need to do is open um, iPod Wizard. And if you're in Vista, you need to run as administrator. And then just click Allow. Okay. And then... Uh, what you need to do is come up to the top here and click on firmware file and click open firmware and then you just find your uh, 1G background hack and click open and it's gonna load the firmware and then you're gonna go up here and go to uh, index and you're gonna go to the drop down menu and go to picture number 140 and you're gonna see this giant picture like this with a little tiny square which is what your background will be so what you need to do is come over here and click save bitmap and then just go ahead and save it to your desktop now I'm just gonna save it as wallpaper and then just go ahead and minimize that of this and then you need to open this up with paint open your wallpaper up with paint and as you can see it's just like a bigger picture than it should be so what you're going to do now is uh, go to whatever picture you want to be your background so just go to like start and then pictures and then I'm just going to have it be my hat and then you need to open that in paint also Okay, and then just press Control A and then Control C, and then go back into your wallpaper picture and press Control V, and it's gonna take up like the whole screen. And then what you need to do is just minimize it to fit like right over that um, blue area. Here, I'll show you. Just go ahead, and you're just gonna have to like mess with it and drag it around and stuff and that's probably good for me so then go ahead and just file save and it's going to save as your wallpaper and then you can just close out of your paint and your pictures and go back into iPod wizard and what you want to do is you don't want to load the picture yet first you need to plug in your iPod and iTunes will probably pop up. Okay, and then you just you're just gonna close out of iTunes. And and then once it detects your iPod, now you're gonna go ahead and uh, load your wallpaper picture. So just click up here, click load bitmap, and then just find your picture and double click it, and it's gonna load that. And then just go up here and click right to iPod and click yes and it's gonna um, write the firmware to your iPod and then just click OK and come up here and click eject and if your iPod doesn't automatically uh, restart itself you can go ahead and uh, just go ahead and unplug it manually but if it does start to restart itself then just go ahead and unplug it anyways and then 
as you see, there's my background right there. And everything works just fine. So, yeah, that's just uh, how to get the background on your iPod Nano. Um, it's not too hard, and I'll see you in my next video.